So every single person interested in playing a Death Knight in Wrath of the Lich King has probably come across the concept of a dual wielding and holy spec. And it's got a lot of people in the community asking questions, asking me in my comment section, what on earth is it all about? You know, what is going on? Is it a meme? Is it a new meta? Today I'm going to answer every possible question I can about dual wielding unholy spec. So first of all, it's a spec that's been fully crafted on private servers, mainly by White Wolf, who's recently made a video, a very long and detailed video, about, you know, what it's all about. And guys, it isn't just some kind of meme spec, it actually sims, and in practice, deals more damage than two-hander spec, until you get Shadowmon. So that sounds pretty awesome, right? But that is only for private servers like Warwank, sorry, uh, Warmain. Private servers don't have access to the original Wrath of the Lich King core. They have to base their numbers on resources from the internet. And even then, they change them slightly. So this doesn't guarantee that Unholy Dual Wield will be stronger than the two-hander spec in Wrath of the Lich King Classic. You have to remember that Blizz did a really good job of trying to standardize everything in the last patch of Wrath of the Lich King, so no more blood DPS spec, it was blood other tanks. Frost do dual wielding, unholy do two handers. They really didn't want people to play dual wield unholy. They nerfed things quite a lot. Whereas the first few patches of Wrath of the Lich King and Death Knight was an absolute shambles. People were doing loads of crazy different specs to optimize the meters. But don't despair guys, because when the DK simulator is finally made, I have, by the way, applied for the person making the Death Knight Simulator to get onto the beta, so fingers crossed on that one. Plus, add-ons are now enabled on the beta, and raid testing will probably be very soon, so we'll be able to get a decent answer whether dual wield or two-hander is better than the other. But my advice is don't be saying two-hander or dual wield is better than the other until we have reliable sims. Sims will come to the rescue and give us an accurate answer. Until then, it very simply is feel crafting. But I definitely think dual wield will be stronger than people think, because it just simply makes sense when you look at how the dual wield spec works. With two weapons, you have increased white melee damage. This means that necrosis and blood caked blade will deal more damage when you're dual wielding. Since necrosis deals a portion of your white hit damage as shadow damage, so obviously 20%, and then Blood Caked Blade will have an increased proc rate. Well, it should do anyway. Because when you look at the talent, it seems to function similar to how poisons used to work in Classic WoW, where the proc rate of the talent is displayed in the talent. It says it's a particular percentage. So every time you melee hit, there is a certain percentage that you're going to do extra damage. Because that's how poisons worked in Classic WoW. There was no kind of standardization when it comes to ppm or things like that. The rotation on the playstyle is also totally different. There's much less of a focus on using Skur Strike, since obviously Skur Strike isn't going to scale as well with a one-handed weapon. This means you will start to implement Death and Decay and Ghoul Frenzy more into your rotation, and they deal some nice damage. And since you are dual wielding, you can take advantage of an extra Rune Forge, and you're going to be using Rune of a Fallen Crusader with Rune of the Cinder Glacier. Weirdly, Death and Decay ticks dynamically update increased damage with your Cinder Glacier proc, so you're trying to maximize the Cinder Glacier proc in sync with Death and Decay ticks. And as far as we know, on the beta, Death and Decay is still dynamically updating with percentage damage increases. You also have great passive cleave when you're using dual wielding due to using obviously Death and Decay in your single target rotation, you're also going to use it with a glyph to increase its damage even more. This means you sacrifice less single target damage for when you have to cleave compared to two-handed spec. It's all pretty interesting and cool when you look into the nitty gritty of how dual wielding works. It definitely looks a little bit more complex and complicated, complicated, geez, more complicated than a two-handed spec, but it might not come to fruition at all, and it might just be a dead meme before Wrath even launches. Who knows? Because I've heard of people talking about how Ghoul Frenzy, Blood Boil, and Death and Decay are bugged on private servers, and they're simply just dealing more damage and an increased DPS more than they should do, compared to how they actually do 
in classic Wrath of the Lich King. So unfortunately guys, I haven't really given you a lot of things to be certain about apart from to be certain about a certain uncertainty. But long story short, let's wait until there's raid testing where we can get Death Knight template gear on the beta, get him into raids, get everything calculated in logs and get everything simmed and then we'll have a clear answer. But until then, things will be uncertain. Now if you want even more info on the Dual Wield and Holy Death Knight spec, a link White Wolf's video in the description down below has everything you need to know about it. My name is Medigoblin to my next video. Ciao.